This video was made possible by our generous supporters on Patreon. Visit our Patreon page and vote for our next video. It's tricky navigating a movie with music while still being able to create something interesting and original. The composer has to accurately match what's being shown on screen thematically, complementing every second with the images being presented. The movie often transmits several emotions and the score that accompanies it should match those emotions. Anticipation, joy, attachment, sadness, rage, all of which have to be addressed by the score at very specific moments. There are many movie scores that come to mind when talking about this, but there is one that we feel like people have ignored its pure, relentless power. A rumbling, followed by classic horror strings and ominous piano notes, are the first bits of music you can hear in 2013's Evil Dead score by Spanish composer Roque Baños. There's nothing particularly special about these first few seconds of initial exposure to the score, showcasing the really low piano notes and transitioning sounds of strings found in most conventional horror movies. It sets a mysterious tone, as more and more layers begin to stack up. The attacking strings really bring up the tension running through our ears as the slow, dissonant strings keep playing. We are soon introduced to the first motif of the score, the air raid siren. I just wanna go home. <laughs> More than anything, these first few seconds feel like a warning that something evil is near. And slowly but surely, the music starts to display more complex characteristics than your typical cliche horror movie score. The strings and the sirens start to create a unique mix. And then the slow piano melody starts sounding like it's playing an actual theme. You can then hear a choir in the background. As the music rises, it starts to sound like an actual orchestra. The piano theme starts as a beautiful, yet evil, introduction to let us know that this score is going to be something special. <laughs> Creepy strings and jump scares integrated into the score seem to be the industry norm. Then you have other musical geniuses like Christopher Young and Jerry Goldsmith, who among others created their own rules of how to score horror films. Look at me, Damien! The Evil Dead score by Roque Baños uses a few of the same old cliches, strings, single piano notes, and a choir that seems to come straight out of hell. But where it excels is in how unapologetically evil and intense it is. Its aggressive creepiness makes it one of the most visceral movie scores in recent memory. While purely listening to the score, there are a few instances where you know it's time for a jump scare. This is usually the moment when all sounds fade away for a few seconds, and then... In what others might see as a situation to give minimum effort, Roque uses these moments to inspire awe with a breathtaking orchestra, rather than simply recording loud, startling noises. And whenever the context requires it, there are always nicely positioned breathers from intense and horrifying situations. Take Sad Memories, the second track in the score is an interesting example. This plays right after the opening of the film, so it's a nice time to introduce a more calm song. Sad Memories is beautiful, sweet, and feels very melancholic, as it's the theme that refers to the damaged relationship between David and Mia as brother and sister. You actually came. Come on, you're a big brother. Of course I came. But as soon as the film requires it, the score jumps back into the action when you hear the air siren. It's coming. The choir is used to great effect, the chanting is often sinister in nature and sometimes seems like the voices of lost souls. The dissonant sound of strings makes me think of my worst fears, spiders, torture, and nightmares. The techniques used by Baños really make his creativity as a composer stand out. Throughout the score he uses simple sounds from everyday life to create unease and atmosphere. In the CD booklet, he mentions that the director and him spend a lot of time searching for the most evil sound they could get out of the orchestra and the choir. 
They used all kind of rips, ramps, scratches, whispering, shouting, but nothing convinced them that it was the sound of true evil, whatever that means. He then mentions that during the first week of composition on the movie, he couldn't sleep so well. He had nightmares and was hearing sirens outside his house all night. Suddenly, he realized the most evil sound he could come up with was the siren. In three ways of saving her soul, he hits wood, for example, to create an atmospheric sense of anticipation. After the air siren comes back, there is a moment of deflated wind instruments that sound like passing trains coming from multiple different directions. Then there's the sound that seems to be the music to some kind of evil carnival where the dead make fun of the living. <laughs> As the movie starts to get progressively intense, so does the score. About halfway through the film, the music takes a more action-oriented, faster-paced approach. Abomination's Rising comes during the climax of the film. The orchestra really shines here with its sheer scope and inventiveness, using the sound of a ratchet after the siren that's very unsettling. All of the musical elements come together for a fantastic climax. And then Evil Tango serves as a beautiful conclusion and as a recap of the main themes of the movie. There's definitely a lot of atmosphere in the score, but it's not going for a synth-heavy ambience or anything like that. Instead, the score is grand and epic in scope, while still contrasting those particular elements with the more calm parts of the film's music. Roque Baño's work for Evil Dead is brutal and unrelenting, such as the bloodbath featured in the film. They feel like one and the same, and the score is an essential part of the film. That's when you know you have some special music in your hands. When you can imagine the score without the film, but not the film without the score. What's going on guys, in our minds the 2013 Evil Dead score by Roque Baños may just be the most underrated horror score and we just wanted to get more people talking about it so that's why we decided to make this video. If you want to get a quick dose of the highlights of the score be sure to check out Roque's live performance with the orchestra that's something really cool to experience so we'll put the link in the description box. As always, thank you to our supporters on Patreon, apologies for the crazy upload schedule lately, we've just had a lot of things on our plates, but we're still dedicating as much time to the channel as we possibly can at the moment. By the way, we're very close to our Patreon goal and when we get there we'll make a video on one of our favorite TV shows, Mr. Robot. If you'd like to help us get there a little bit faster, be sure to check out our Patreon page, the link will also be in the description box and in the pinned comment below. We're also running a weekly giveaway on our Instagram where you can get the chance to vote for videos you'd like to see, so make sure to follow us there as well. Thanks so much for watching guys, we'll see you next time.